Hi, my name is Francine Marie Jennings, and I am a trans woman, and I'm happy um, today because it's Easter, um, and I really do not want to yell at people. I don't want to be in, in, like, really bad circumstances with friends or people like family. I don't want to be near my family as racist against me being trans. But my dad said something to me this morning like this. You shouldn't be doing a transgender content, but you you not my you not lovable no more. You not this, you not that I go, Dad, I'm a girl. I'm a woman. I'm your daughter. Just stop calling me Frederick, my birth name, my dead name. My my real name is Francine Marie Jennings. No, and you know, and I really don't like people who say, Hey Freddie, what's up? I go I said, I died and I came back to life. You know, and, and that was like really strong for me to handle people like like people who know me as Freddie, you know, and I'm a trans woman and that will make me cry if people is like that, you know, and it's like, I feel like crying so much and it's like, you know, it's like, sorry, I'm taking my meds, my medication. I can't show you what I'm taking because it's, it's blocked on YouTube, rubes, you know, and it's like, you know, it's like I took my HRT meds for the finally first time. You know, and it's like, yeah, not finally first time, but it's a new month. It's almost my anniversary in June. You know, but, you know, you know, is surgeries, SRS surgeries. Uh, after I have surgery be next and then um top surgery be first and then bottom surgery be second but if I would need to get my th cut off I will so yo at will yo that's what I want to have to do. Yo, and, and, yo, my, my, us, I mean, my stuff, what I've been emotional, deep, like, emotional, I've not been emotional, depressed. I've just been sad what people, is this, on my case about transitioning. And it's like, you don't have a right to yell at somebody is trans. Like, and if somebody had a bad breakup, like a girl breaking up with them, that will, and then they was with the person a long, 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 long time. It's like, I've been with the girl since I was eight, like, um, seventeen, and then I was. 31 when we broke up. So that's many years. Ten over ten years I was with the girl. And that would make me in a depression state. And you don't want to do nothing. And that why I'm still I'm still I'm trying to fight over it, you know, and you know, I hate people who kinda like Tell me I'm not good enough. That what people are saying to me, like my friends, like Ch Charity and Tom is saying that to me. I'm not good enough to be on this earth, you know. And that really hurts. Like when people would say that to me, like in the end, like and don't call me Francine. I'm sick and tired of them not. Charity calls me Francine, but Tom calls me Freddie, and I don't like that. Yo, know, people who 
who don't misgender me and, and you know, if they can call me Francis, like, and I will be happy. You know, I'm not Freddie no more. I'm Francine. It is like you misgender somebody who's not the right image of the person. I died and came back to life. When I transitioned, I died and came back. In a new body, I came back. As a female, I came back. Y'all, you know, it is like, you guys is like, you people on YouTube, some of the trans people is nice on YouTube, but, you know, like, all these YouTubers is already monetized to be more nicer to small transgender people is just starting out. And, you know, I've been transitioning well, hormones, a year, I mean, two years and nine months, I've been, what, well, hormones. Almost three years, almost. Yo, know, I've been transitioning for, on the pills. So, three years, you know, and it's like, you guys is not, percent of the person who is transitioning it's harder for the person transitioning to come back to their regular body like i still in the regular body but you know i'm mostly sad because people is not it's 2024 is like as new Stuff to make people transition the right way. And it's not like you guys could say, hey, she he's a tranny. That's not the right answer. It's transgender identity a sorter. Yeah, I have a sorter because I'm trans. And you know, you don't call a tranny. Like like Tom would say, Oh, you a tranny. That's you know what he was saying yesterday. And I was like, Tom, then you can get off my property. And, you know, and, like, Cherry could stay here because I love Cherry. Cherry never misgender me, never say nothing wrong. She is the wonderful, wonderful angel. And Anne is wonderful, too, but I, like, get upset at Anne because she knows me as Francine now. And, you know, she said this. I'm more as a woman because I get very emotional every 31 days or every 28 days. You know, but, you know, you guys is saying, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. And, like, that's why sometimes I don't clean my house because I'm sad because my dad is mi um, misgendering me. And when somebody is going to gender me right, I will clean my house because I'm very emotional depression because of that. I'm not mentally depression, but it's just like I'm upset at people misgendering me the right, wrong way. And it's like you guys is like trying to misgender somebody his trans. And like my dad, I know my dad is. My dad said Francis the other day, but that made me happy. But, you know, then he goes a couple of days after, misgender me again. And then that what, if, that why I'm not going Easter with them because they are a low person who likes to misgender a trans person. And, like, if I know my mom will call my foster mom and, be very rude and very disrespectful to me because I'm trans and I'm this. I don't look good enough, you know. And you know, and it's like, come on, um, people, don't misgender somebody if you never met a trans person, and you know, it's like. A lot of people want to misgender people and, you know, and put them down. And it's like, 
I don't understand why people is this really, really, really disrespectful to the trans community. And like a bunch of my friends got killed because of misgendering and, and abuse and abuse relationships. And, you know, it's not like it was Trans Awareness Month. And, you know, it is like, you guys has to misgender people the right way. And it's not like you guys could tell somebody off, but you could tell, you could set them to the side and say, hey, I don't think you capable to be on hormones. But, you know, it's not yours. That person is capable of do I've been on the hormones three years now, and people is is misgendering me. And it's like, I changed my name a year ago. First, I was Frederick. Then I was Francine Kenyon. Now I'm a Jennings. And it's like, come on, be more a sitter of the trans community. We coming for your kids. You know, and it's like, we want kids because we can't have normal kids ourselves. And it's like, you guys is trying to bad mouth us and put us down. And, and it's not really, 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 really good for somebody to do that to. A trans person is like, we have our moments, we have our griefs, we have our ability to take care of a kid ourselves. If we want trans, more trans kids on this planet, we can have it. It's our way we do stuff. And I love how some people say, oh, trans people is bad people. No, we not. Like, I get sick and tired of jack, j bad people. And I was going to swear, but, you know, it's like, this topic is very important to our trans community. It's like, you guys is not understanding our trans rights. It's like, Niagara Falls, they have a homeless shelter for trans people. And, like, Buffalo don't have it, only for the youth. And that's kind of wrong. And, you know, that's why when I was homeless, I was going up to Buffalo for, see if they have a trans um, shelter. And they don't. They have a woman's shelter, but the woman's shelter, you need a, um, a, a what's that called? from a case manager to get you into a woman's shelter. And it is like, like all the places in Buffalo has bed bugs. And, you know, and I don't like how any Niagara Falls, Niagara Gospel has bed bugs. You know, and it is like, come on. You know, it is like, you guys need to start doing stuff Right, so people don't get bit up or itching, you know, and you know, and there's like any any other trans people will say the same thing. They need more supports for transgender people, and you know, I get very angry at people who get abused. Like my friend came in with a black and blue eye, and you know, it is like I get very upset because of it. You know, people come in with a bruise, bruise eye. And like, other trans people had to wait out three months to get on hormones. And, you know, Planned Parenthood would do it right away. And that's good for that, you know. But, you know, Evergreens that make it more easier for people to get get their hormones. And, you know, and it's like, 
people don't care if you are trans or stuff, but places in Buffalo, like a hotel in Buffalo, I'm going to explain that to you guys. It's like a place in a hotel. It's near the Salmon Field. It's a hotel. The guy goes, because I came in with girl clothes on and a bra and underwear and pants. Um, and the guy goes, you have a dick. You have a, squ a hose. I go, you just put me down as a trans person. That's not really right for you to do that. And it's like, and it's like, it's not your say, it's, it's a government say to say, yes, you can go in a girl's room. If my ID say female, I'm female. And it's like, you guys don't have a right to say male or female. You Then you say I have a bathroom for trans people. Legally, y'all, a, a co-ed bathroom. And, you know, that what makes me really, really, really angry about. And, you know, I really get so angry. I want to squeeze somebody's neck for it, y'all. And then it's like, it's not a lot. And then, like, the Pride Center do boring meetings. And it's like. I want a group meeting where we talk about how much the hormones is working for us. And, you know, it's not really working if you guys don't talk as a group. You know, and, and then we have the staff who is trans talk that tell and bring up their ideas about their hormones and and what they have to do to keep on a right path. And then be better like a group for under construction. We used to do that. This is Francine Marie Jennings. You know, and and you know, I really want you to hit the bell icon and like the video and share this video. And I really get Jazz Jennings a very good support to my channel. Thank you, Jazz, for helping me out, getting me where I have to go to do the Western New York Pride. Thank you for them. Thank you for Kate, Miss K at the Pride Center. Kiki at the Pride Center. Hi, P Kiki. And I do, I love you, Kiki. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm aggravated. You know, I'm just like all over because of the, my, since I got in the shot, I'm more emotional. So, you know, and, you know, thank you for everybody. Who's on my channel and thank you for everybody like Ann Elliot Charity and um and thank you for the Granite Shop too. And thank you to um, people who watches the videos. I'm sorry I'm so emotional. And the hormones do work. It's a, it's a waiting process for the breasts to grow a little bit more. You know, but, you know, my boobs hurt now. And, you know, thank you for all people who really, really do. Thank you for Channel 4 News. Thank you for Channel 2 News. Thank you for Spectrum News and YNN News. And thank you for Hallmark Channel. Thank you for every channel is trans community. And thank you for all the gays and lesbians.
And thank you for Channel 7 News because they do Wake Up Buffalo for trans. And thank you for all the restaurants love transgender quality. And, you know, I'm going to talk about another subject. Like, you know, your mood disorder, when you're on the hormones, it goes up and down, up and down. And But, you know, when you are transitioning for the very first time, you get, in like, in a couple of days after you take your first hormone, it kind of be an even cue. And then, but when it starts going your 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 mood disorder start coming in after a week or or seven to eight days, eight days it start coming in, eight to seven days it comes to start coming in, but then when you get like three months in, your boobs start growing a lot, and mine started growing right away because I already had enough tissue there to make it grow. And, you know, it's kind of like I'm starting to get more bigger on top. But, you know, I'm starting to blossom really good. You know, and very much, you know, very much really, you know, wanting. This is a transgender show. But, you know, we are going to do it to like 1030. Yeah, so I can get a many hours in. You know, many hours in so I can be in the partnership program. You know, I really hate people who is very rude to people. You know, and I can be nice to people, but when they start misgendering people, I get aggravated. Like, and like, if I want to date somebody, it's nobody's business. Like, when people say, "Hey, will you? Who are you gonna date when you get uh, your hormones?" It's none of the people' business. Is the person who you date and the person who you follow through. You know, it is like, come on, people, is this like, like my friend Gloria, she's my girlfriend as a friend. You know, and people is just like misgendering her a lot, you know, and taking pictures at her. And then, you know, that's wrong and, and, and like some people is nice and say, hey, beauty. I only say that to her because I'm a girl. And, you know, I really treat her like she's my girlfriend. You know, and it's like, you know, it's not that 
bright to Miss Jenner somebody is trans. You know, and it's like you kind of not you cannot tell nobody off as trans because they will maybe yell at you. And that's how I am. I'm more rude to people now. It's Miss Jenner. You know, and it's not right for somebody just to, to lie to somebody and say, oh, you are a trans woman who give a shit about you. You know, and I really get angry at that when people misgender people. Bro, really a lot. I keep saying this is wrong. It's like, it's 2024. You didn't really misgender somebody for their own believes what they are. And you're like, 50% of of the regular community and then 100% of the trans community will stick together with the money is trans. Is LGBTQ that is what it is, yo. Know? And it's like, you guys don't know how to really, really, really trust people who is Transgender, and if you don't want it, be friends with somebody who is trans. Don't be their friend. And it's like people don't want to be called tranny or gay, you know, and queer. We don't want to be called queer because we don't like that word. If a queer person comes up to you and they non-binary, you don't have to put them down either. You know, it's like is the rainbow is is good, the trans rainbow or the gay rainbow. And it's like you guys is not gonna badmouth me no more, people. Y'all. I'm going to stick together with some people. Happy Easter to everybody, the LGBTQ family. And trans. Thank you for everybody who subscribed to the channel, like Charity and, um, and you know, now I'm going to open to questions.
You know, and, and it's not it's hard being transgender because people misgender people a lot. That gets me upset. It's like a whole bunch of people misgender people, and it's like, come on, you stupid ass asses. <laughs>